Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to my Tuesday night live video. My name is Melissa Faust from stampwithmelissa.com, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Minnesota, which is in the United States. Welcome to everyone who's joining me for tonight's um, live class. It is Tuesday, May 16th at 5 p.m. Central Time. That's my local time. Um, I'm just going to wait for people to hop on. So I see both Debbie and Deborah are here. Hey, Keisha. Um, everyone's jumping on. Hi, Mom. Um, I'm exhausted. <laughs> if you know kind of what's going on um, in my life, you know why. <laughs> I'm so tired. So we're going to just like dive right on into tonight. Um, I've got something I want to show you, some housekeeping things, and then we're going to just make some cards. And we've got a fun, if you're familiar with my classes to go, this one is um, like a stepped up version. <laughs> it's a little bit different than how I normally run them. Um, and I'll explain a little bit as we get as we get going right so hey everyone else um alicia Lori, hello everyone i think i come i think i mentioned everyone who commented <laughs> um anyway so let's go ahead um should i start with housekeeping okay let's start there uh some of you might know that something pretty exciting is happening uh, i'm actually leaving this week to go to europe um and i earned the stampin up incentive trip to norway and i am so very grateful for all of you who helped me get there um we uh hey jennifer welcome um yeah i know you're excited uh good to see you here um anyway so i'm leaving uh i earned the trip to norway so the ordering or the the ordering the um I, words are hard today. <laughs> uh, the timeline, what is the word I'm looking for? I don't even know. Uh, the timeline to earn that Norway trip was from September 30th of, no, October 1st of 2021 through September 30th of 2022. So I actually earned this back in mid-September and I actually get to go on it. Like it's like next week. So that's kind of like mind blowing. It's crazy. I still have to pack. We got like one of the bags packed, but um, there are four. <laughs> so have a little bit of work to do. Uh, no, actually, I think two bags are packed now. Anyway, so I've got some work to do tonight. So we're going to go ahead and dive in so that we can just, you know, make some cards and then I can pack. <laughs> um, but on housekeeping stuff, um, I mentioned that this week's class is going to be a little bit different. And that's because it's actually going to run for two weeks. So you can place your order anytime this week or next week through Friday of next week, which is May 26th to get this card kit. I'll talk a little bit um, about that in a couple of minutes here, but I also just wanted to make sure you're aware that while I'm gone, um, I am, I'm, I'm just going to put out there that I'm not going to be checking emails. If I do get a chance to check emails, I might, so you might hear from me, uh, but I'm going to put out in the world, I'm not checking emails. <laughs> so if you need something, I would encourage you to go to the Stamp with Melissa Facebook group. Um, if you're not already in that, make sure you request to join that. Uh, but I would encourage you to go there and ask a question there. And I know like I, I'm putting her on the spot here, but Alicia Markford, who's watching tonight, she's one of my team members. She's really awesome. She pretty much knows everything I know. Um, <laughs> so she could probably help answer you. Some of the other folks watching um, could help answer you. Also, if you have like a creative question or something. Um, if you have an, a question about an order, just send me an email and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Okay. Um, oh, thank you guys so much. You're so kind. I just, I don't like to come back and have like 200 emails, but I also am really looking forward to the chance to unplug. So that being said, I do plan to share still on probably mostly Instagram stories, um, which do automatically share over to Facebook. Okay. Thanks, Alicia. Um, yeah, I totally put you on the spot there, but I knew you're such a helpful person. So I knew you'd probably be like, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, so I will try to post some pictures and things on Instagram stories so you can see what I'm up to because it's pretty awesome. Um, you can still place orders in my online store while I'm gone and all of that too. Like nothing halts. It's just that you won't hear from me maybe. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. And I know that like, I know for sure on the, on the cruise, I don't know. I, we paid for Wi-Fi, but I've heard that it can still be really bad when you're out at sea. So I don't really know if I'll be able to check in when we're on the boat. Um, on land, I should be able to like kind of check in. 
Uh, more so when we're in London because we'll be on land the whole time. But in Norway, we'll only be on land for like, you know, the eight hour periods that we're in the port. So anyway, and when we're in the port, I want to be in the port <laughs> and off the phone. Right. Uh, so, yeah. Um, OK, so let me go ahead and flip my camera down. And before we start with the week's class, um, just have to give a shout out to Alicia, too, because look at what came in my mailbox. Alicia sent me this adorable card before the trip, and it looks like a little suitcase. It's so cute. So my nephew actually um, asked me, he was over when I got it, and he asked me if he could open it. And I said, sure. And he goes, oh, I bet that's for your twip. He has a cute little accent. He's five. So he was like, I bet that's for your twip. And I was like, yeah, it is. <laughs> like crying happy tears. So thank you so much, Alicia, for this adorable, adorable card. It is so cute, so sweet, and I will cherish it forever. So, okay, so let's talk about this week's class to go. I'm going to flip my little banner thing here. See that? Fancy, right? Um, I know, isn't it awesome? Lori said, that is awesome. Yeah, it is. Um, we are going to do the Gone Fishing class to go tonight. So we are shaking things up a little bit. Um, like I said, you, ah, oh, thanks, Alicia. Um, you might be used to my previous class to goes. This one's going to be like a stepped up version. Okay. So here are the stipulations to get the class kits. Now, um, we are going to make all five of the cards tonight during the live video. Uh, but if you would like the class kits or the make and take packets for the cards, you will need to place a $60 order before tax and shipping in my online store by next Friday, May 26th. Use that host code that's over there or there. Look, Inception. <laughs> Uh, use that host code. Um, that lets me know you want the class. If your order is over $150, take the host code out because you get the cool, the host rewards and some free product. So take that out because I want you to get that. And then just send me a message letting me know that you want the class. Okay. Um, or an email rather, send me an email. Uh, and if you, what do I want to say? Oh, the link. Oh my gosh. You can tell I'm just a scatterbrain tonight. So I apologize for that. But <laughs> uh, the link to shop my online store is also in the description of this video. It does have that class code already tied in. So if you click on that link to go shopping, you'll be able to like shop, get whatever you want. It already has that code tied in. So all you have to do is check out. And again, if you're over 150, then just remove the code. Okay. So that's that. Um, this card kit, because it's a little bit more than normal, right? You get some extra stuff. So this week we're going to do five cards. You get two of each card. So that's 10, um, to each of the five designs. So you get to make 10 cards. You get a quarter pack of the, uh, let's go fishing designer series paper, and you get a full pack of the rustic metallic dots from me. Okay. These will all ship after I'm back and I'm giving myself a couple of days because I will have to order product and all that when I get back. Uh, so I'm planning to have these shipped out on May 31st, okay? So right after Memorial Day. So, okay, so what do you say we get started? So like I said, it's gone fishing because you know what Norway's famous for? They're fish. <laughs> so we're doing gone fishing and going to make some awesome masculine cards. Also cards you could swap out. They don't have to be masculine. Uh, and so we're going to use this awesome gone fishing bundle. The, this is part of a suite called Let's Go Fishing, which is on pages 78 and 79 of the annual catalog. You can see I've got mine all post-it noted up from my catalog party last week. I didn't take the post-its out. So uh, we are going to play with this. Now, I did go ahead um, and I die cut. Like, we're going to use some of this bait. I did die cut it ahead of time just to save me a little bit of time on tonight's live. Um, I won't send these die kit die cut pieces in your kit you'll have to die cut them yourselves so if you don't already have your bundle this bundle you'll want to add this probably get it part of as part of the class right um we are going to use you can see here every single stamp except this one you, you it's like the little extra piece for this you can absolutely use this if you want to i just didn't so um i don't know we use every other stamp though <laughs> <laughs> on these cards so you're definitely going to get good use out of this in this class okay all right so let me start with card number one and we're just going to get started and i'll show you what comes in your card kit so here's here's the first card okay super fun this suite has a fun embossing folder also um and speaking of that if you were at the annual catalog party last week i said that i was going to give away one of these embossing folders and debbie Jurdy won that so congrats to debbie um all right so this card will have a misty moonlight card base 
a misty moonlight layer, a misty moonlight layer embossed with the twisted rope 3D embossing folder. Um, you'll have a very vanilla label. This was die cut with the nested labels. What is it called? Nested labels, essentials dies or something like that. I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, and then you're going to have pieces of very vanilla crumb cake and Calypso coral to die cut out these pieces. These are the three from the uh, bundle. And then you can see um, in the, in the PDF instructions, which you get when you buy the class too, uh, I call this the bobber stick and that's just what we're going with. I don't know what it's called, but it's a bobber stick. So, okay. Okay. All right. And then as part of your designer series paper, you will cut this piece here and you can obviously change up that pattern if you want, but I thought those bait pieces would be really cute. So let's go ahead. We'll start with stamping. This one's a real easy start later. We've got a lot of stamping to do. So, uh, we're going to start with Calypso coral for our sentiment. And I've got the sentiment that says good things come to those who wait. And I thought that was so sweet. And, you know, I'm leaving for this trip and I uh, woke up this morning and I was nervous and I was like, Ooh, I better not have like pre-travel anxiety. I think I just need to get on the plane. Like I just need to get on it now. <laughs> um, isn't that the worst though? Like sitting at the airport at your gate, waiting to get on the plane. That's like the absolute worst. So anyway, I don't know. It's just like, they tell you to be there so early and I'm a type A person. So I get there super early and then it's just like we sit and sit and sit and sit and sit. It's like, why do we get here early? Um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, oh, yay. Debbie's on. That's cool. Um, so I use seal to put that DSP onto my card base. I'm going to do the same thing here on the correct side. Add some seal to my embossed piece. Remember to have a light hand so we don't rip our cardstock if you're using the seal. And then we'll layer this onto our misty moonlight piece down at the bottom. Um, yeah, it's like hurry up and wait for sure. And Alicia said she loves this DSP because it has very vanilla in it, which is so true. Um, we've got very vanilla in this designer series paper, which means we've got a really good excuse to use our very vanilla cardstock. So, all right, we're going to add some dimensionals to the back of this piece. And I'm probably going to run out during this video. <laughs> uh, but we're going to go ahead and add these. And then we will add that and peel these backings off. Now, this just popped into my head, so I have to tell you all too. Um, so during my annual catalog party last week, I had shared that, um, okay, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here and stick these things all together, okay? You'll watch that. You, you know how to use glue, I hope. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I shared that a few nights prior to that, I had killed a mosquito in my room. And I was very annoyed by that because I don't think we should be having mosquitoes in our room. Like, that's annoying. Well, that night I went to bed and guess what? I killed another mosquito in my room. How irritating is that? Okay, so we've got those added. I'll put some seal on the back here and then we're going to add our bobber stick. So I'm just going to leave that upside down. I've got my stick and um, it actually is, I have it upside down here. You can tell when you've got it with you, okay? And then I'm just going to stick that down and then we'll add a dimensional on that. Now it doesn't really matter. Um, there's like a half bobber and a whole bobber and it doesn't matter which one is die cut out of which cardstock. Okay. So this one, I did the Calypso coral as the whole and then the um, very vanilla as the halfy. on this one. I did it the other way. You can't really tell the difference. So it doesn't matter which one you do. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe Lori. I don't know. It's just, yeah, Alicia said they're bad enough outside. Yeah, and in Minnesota this year, we are told that we're going to get, we're going to have a lot of mosquitoes because we had a really wet winter and that's annoying. <laughs> um, I don't like that. So anyway. All right. So there I added some rustic metallic dots. I love these because they are not... Um, they're not like girly, right? But like you can still add some bling to your card then. So uh, that's card number one. Yeah, my mom said bugs love me. It's so true, but I don't love them back. <laughs> All right, here's card number two. Now, of course, on these two, you can swap out the sentiments for anything you'd like. But let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Okay, so we've got a... Uh, thanks, Deborah. We've got a Misty Moonlight card base. We've got a piece of Pebbled Path. We've got Berry Vanilla. 
Knight of Navy and another piece of very vanilla for your sentiment. And then we'll you'll cut out this DSP pattern. Here's the side. There's the other side. And honestly, you could use either side on this. So, okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna grab this larger very vanilla piece. And then I've got a collection of stamps and inks. So we are going to use, we use a lot of inks on this collection. By the way, did you guys know that I put these on my website every week? I have a page on my website that updates with the current class and I actually tell you the recommended items. So all the inks that we use are listed there, okay? And we don't use any stamp and blends this time. So I've got this fish, I inked it up in Pebbled Path and I'm gonna stamp it at the top and the bottom. Okay, and then we'll close up Pebbled Path. And then I'm going to grab Calypso Coral, and I've got this little, like, inside fishy piece. <laughs> this is where you could use Stampin' Blends, but I'm going to use the ink, and I have to get my head right over this, so I apologize. Because you probably can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just lining up this stamp, and I needed to, like, get in there, you know? <laughs> All right, we're going to close up Calypso Coral, and then we're going to grab our chamois. And we got to clean off our fish real quick because we are going to stamp that same image in crushed curry ink next. So we have those different colors. Ink, ink, ink. I don't know if there are any fish that are actually these colors, but you know, my motto with stamping is that um, you can do them whatever color you want. So that's just the rule. You can make things whatever color they want to be. You got a rhino that's green? Great. <laughs> All right, we've got that. Let's go ahead and we'll do our sentiment next, which says happy retirement. And that goes on our little very vanilla piece. Um, <laughs> yeah, Deborah, that is called uh, not knowing biology <laughs> or proper terms. Yeah, I'm glad that it makes you happy though. So um, yeah, we've got fishy pieces and bobber sticks and all that. <laughs> all right, we've got that stamp, so we can go ahead and assemble everything. So let's shoo that off to the side. Grab our designer series paper, add some seal, layer this. Now you can tell I love when my DSP covers a whole background. I love it. I think it looks so nice. And you'll be able to do that with your um, quarter pack of the DSP that comes with this class. Okay, let's add some seal to the back of our very vanilla fishy piece and we'll get that layered onto Pebbled Path. Okay, flip that over and we'll add some dimensionals. I'm definitely gonna run out of dimensionals. I kind of wondered how many cards it would take. Two cards to finish the sheet. Of course, we're gonna snip off these ends. There's a fruit fly in here now, you guys. I talked about bugs, so now I have one. <laughs> um, all right, so we'll go ahead and make sure your card's opening the right way, right? And we'll go ahead and add that down. Okay, grab our little sentiment and we'll glue this with seal. And perfect. And then we'll go ahead and we're just gonna snip these ends. So if you don't, uh, if you don't already know this, when you're done with a sheet of dimensionals, the ends make really great dimensionals too. So just go ahead and snip them. And then you can use those as dimensionals also. Pretty neat, right? Okay, we'll go there. And you can just do it wherever you want to. We'll grab two of these. Stick those down. And then we'll go ahead and stick this in the middle of our fishies. Could make like a McDonald's filet of fish there. <laughs> Hopefully, I didn't get that stuck in your head now, that song. All right, we'll finish off with some rustic metallic dots. I've got a big one there, a little one next to it, and a little one going all the way over. I hope I don't run out of these during this video. We'll have to compromise if I do. <laughs> um, and that is card number two. How cute is that one, too? Maybe I shouldn't say cute. How handsome is that one? How nice is it? Yeah. Um, all right, there's that one. Here's card number three. Now this one has got a lot of stamping, so get ready. <laughs> this one I cased right out of the catalog. We've got that fun tackle box, which you can see with the Knight of Navy here. And uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this one. So I did die cut all of my pieces. Now I recommend that you stamp and then die cut, but do what I say, not what I do, okay? Okay, <laughs> all right, you'll have a Knight of Navy card base. You'll have two pieces of Knight of Navy, so you can die cut out both pieces of the tackle box. That is the, both of these dies are in the set. 
you'll have a piece of very vanilla. This will be cut to size to fit here for your sentiment. Um, I know I love the tackle box too. And then you're gonna have some very vanilla cardstock to cut all of these bait pieces. Okay, there's six of them. Wow. <laughs> and we are gonna go ahead and stamp these together and uh, we're gonna do our best. I'm gonna have to get my head over this a lot, but we got it, we can do it, okay? All right, look at this. It's just a pile of stamps. Okay, we've got, they're all stuck together because I had to double stack them. We've got um, bait pieces and then each bait piece has like an inside filler piece. We've got this piece, will, which will go in the tackle box, and then we've got our sentiment as well. So let's start with our bait pieces, and we are doing them all in pebbled pathing. So we're going to start there, okay? I know, this is like lures. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Alicia. <laughs> what, you don't like when I say bait pieces? <laughs> I can't believe I forgot they are called lures. I don't know how that happened. All right, anyway, this is why you do what I say, not what I do, because then you stamp off of your bobber. But good thing, this is symmetrical. You know, this calls for some messy scrap paper. Oh, come here. I can't believe that that's called a lure and I forgot. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got these pieces, hold up. We're gonna flip that over and use the other side because I did not do a good job. Um, I'm probably still going to say bait pieces. Yeah, full disclosure. I've got it ingrained in, in the brain. It's not leaving. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Now, this is why I say stamp first, you know. Yeah, that one's not great, but it's still better. It's better than the other one. Okay, we've got this piece here. Um, boom. I'm. They're just all going to be offset. So when you see this card later, know that my dad will still love it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can do better with this one. Ah, not bad. Not bad. Okay. We got one more shot on this one. Now I do, I do the outline pieces first because I find it easier for later when I do the inside pieces. Um, yeah, it is kind of hard to stamp after die cutting, but I thought I would save time by doing it this way, but maybe I didn't. I don't know. I definitely saved space because I didn't have space for like my die cutting machine with all these stamps and inks and things. So, okay. And then we'll do this one. Come here. It's stuck. There we go. Oh, that was the best one yet. It took me six tries, but I got one right on. <laughs> okay. So that's all with Pebbled Path. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't know that these are the most beautiful in the world, but they're okay. So, okay. So let's go Mossy Meadow. And this is just a pre-warning. Something's wrong with my Mossy Meadow ink pad. Um, you can see it's like growing yellow stuff on the side and I put more ink in it and it like goes in, but it like doesn't ink. So this is, my Mossy Meadow is going to look a little bit funny. I did order a new Mossy Meadow ink pad because I just am giving up on this one. But just a pre-warning when you're like, what? That doesn't look normal. Yeah, I know. <laughs> See, it's just a very light color. So, um, And I thought it was just out of ink, so I re-inked it. But that's definitely not the problem. So, um, uh, Thanks, you guys. Okay, so that is one of the fish. And then we've got one of these oval things. I, don't, I for sure don't know the name, the specific names of each of these bait pieces. <laughs> okay, so we've got those stamped, so we can close this. Okay, then we'll grab, let's do crushed curry, which means we need to clean off our fishy. Now you can change up your colors as well. You don't have to do the same colors as I did. But as far as my brain's going tonight, we got to keep things the same as my sample card or else they'll just go haywire. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to stamp this fishy. Okay, and then that's it for crushed curry. And then we're gonna do Calypso Coral. And I should have cleaned this earlier when I had it out, but I didn't. Okay. So we are going to do this other oval thing. Um, oh, Alicia said hi, Anne, but I don't see a comment from Anne. So hi, Anne, if you're here, I'm sorry, I don't see your comment for some reason. Um, okay, so I'm gonna ink this up in Calypso Coral. 
And then because I want it to look different than my bobber, I'm going to stamp it off once and then ink it down. Okay. Ink it down, stamp it down. Yeah. All right. Then we'll do this little half bobber piece and I'm leaving this one full strength and going to stamp that on the bottom of our bobber there. Okay. Look at all this stamping. We're not even done. <laughs> okay. So then I'm going to go ahead and just scooch these off because we don't need we don't need our messy scrap paper anymore. You know, it's not a live video without it. So, all right, then I'm going to grab this very vanilla piece and we'll grab my Knight of Navy ink and we'll stamp. So glad that you're my dad. Ink that. Okay. So we've got that. And then the last thing we have to stamp is here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece and I'm just going to lay this. This is like about where it'll go. Sorry, you can't see it. That's about where it'll go. I don't, you can kind of see it with my lighting. Um, and I'm just going to ink up my little rugged stamp here and just stamp them in the boxes. Now I'm not stamping in any like particular area. I'm just kind of making them go in different spots. Maybe I'll flip it over. Um, this is going to get largely covered. So I'm not even going to worry about that. And we'll stamp them straight up and down over here. And then we'll do one over here as well. Okay. Now we're done with the stamping. Look at that. <laughs> I'm a speed stamper. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, we could say that. Sure. Um, okay. So let's go ahead. I'm going to flip over my larger tackle box piece here, add some seal, and then get this centered onto the card base. Remember which way you stamped your little rugged pieces. Okay. Fold and burnish this. And then what I'm going to do is um, add mini dimensionals to just a couple of these corners on here. Lori asked, what are the temperatures supposed to be like? So in London, it's supposed to be like low to mid 60s. And then on the cruise, it's kind of hard to tell because it's changing every day. Um, but as of right now, it's supposed to be like mid to high 50s which is like, I'm from Minnesota, so it's not that bad. Um, I feel bad for some of the demonstrators from like Arizona and Florida and whatever who are saying like, I need a cheap but warm and foldable like parka. And I was like, good luck. <laughs> um, good luck finding one, but maybe they could on clearance or something. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to bring like a full coat. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. I added those little mini dimensionals here and then I'm putting this down. Now I just wanted it to look like it was raised, but obviously it's not going to be very sturdy, right? Um, so you could trim up your dimensionals and still stick them all over. You could use foam strips as well. Those would work great. Uh, but that's just kind of what I got. Okay. All right. So uh, one of the ports today, Lori, apparently it was snowing. So people started panicking after we uh, all discovered that. Um, there is no snow in the forecast, so hopefully it stays that way. Um, yeah, it probably will be chilly, Lori, you're right, on the deck, but they actually have an adults-only, like, sauna swimming pool area, um, which is like a greenhouse. And so I figure if I get really cold, I'll just go in there for, like, 15 minutes, and it'll probably be pretty warm. <laughs> and so I'll want to leave. So anyway, I don't like being hot. I'm not very, I'm always cold and I'm not very good at being cold either, but I do not. I'd rather be freezing than sweating. That's just the truth. Okay. So you can see, I'm just adding the little bait in here. Um, I did kind of just use the catalog as my guide on where I wanted to place these. You could also die cut out, stamp and die cut out a lot more of the bait if you wanted to. You could use some of the cool die cut pieces as well. So, um, oh, Laura, you agree with me. All right. Um, so there is card number three. How fun is that one? Right? We've got some fun stuff there. Now, card number four is a really cool one. It's square. <laughs> um, and so this one is really neat. I'm going to show you in a little bit. Uh, but let's go ahead and start on this one. This one's going to be pretty simple. Uh, oh, thanks, Laura. Um, yeah, that's true, Lori. <laughs> you can only take so much off. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I have the, okay, so I have this, um, it's from a company called One Piece, but it's basically like a, um, 
what's it like a, a romper thing anyway it's like a sweatsuit i guess and it's like a norwegian pattern and i really want to bring it but i don't know if it'll fit in my suitcase <laughs> that's what i was planning to wear if i was cold so um okay so we've got a mossy meadow card base we've got a mossy meadow layer you will have i will already die cut this out for you so this is a very vanilla cardstock piece um that is die cut with the stylish shapes dies and then you will have a piece of very vanilla to stamp and die cut just two of the bait pieces right a bobber and a little other thing <laughs> um and then you are going to cut your designer series paper and then you're going to need so i use stylish shapes i will not cut this for you because it's out of your dsp but you're going to want to cut like a circle or a square or something and save this inside piece for the last card. Okay. Okay. So there's that. So you can see, I just cut it out of the middle there. So let's go ahead. We'll start with stamping and we've got pebbled path for our sentiment and happy father's day. And we'll go ahead and stamp that down. Okay. And then, Oh, we'll leave that open leave it open. Let's see if I can do better this time. We'll use our, we'll, we'll pull it back in. I didn't think I was going to use it again, but we'll use our messy scrap paper again. Okay. All right. So we are going to go ahead and stamp our bobber, which we did in Pebbled Path last time. So get my head over that. Ah, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> um, and then we'll do that other, the oval thing. I don't know what it's called. And get my head over that. Oh, it like caught on at the bottom. Sometimes you just have to go for it. Wow, that turned out pretty good too. Okay, so we've got those stamped with Pebbled Path. Okay, and then I'm going to use Mossy Meadow and Calypso Coral. Now we did do that bobber on the last card in Calypso Coral, the half bobber, so we'll be good there. And we'll stamp that down. Okay, and then I believe that I know we used uh, Mossy Meadow on this one, but I think the last color we used on it was Calypso Coral. So we'll go ahead and clean this quick, just in case. Yeah, it was. Look at that. I saw the coral. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to ink this up in Mossy Meadow. Ink, 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 ink. I have to do it a lot because this pad is being weird. All right. And then we'll go ahead and stamp that into our little oval lure. <laughs> um, there, I said it right, right? Okay, so we've got those two pieces stamped. Then we'll go ahead and start assembling. So here with my designer series paper, look at this side would be really pretty to use too, but I'm just going to add seal to the four corners. And then we'll go ahead and get this onto our mossy meadow layer here. How fun is that with that little peekaboo, right? And then we'll add some seal to the back of this and lay this on our card front. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. I thought I was upside down for a second, but I'm not. This big fish is telling me I'm going the right way. <laughs> and then we'll go ahead, fold and burnish our card and flip this over. We'll add some dimensionals. Okay, one, two, and three. And then I'm gonna stick that down. Now you can see when I stamped this, I stamped it more towards the right because I do have those lures that are going in there, the lures, the bait pieces, it just sounds funner. I know funner is not a word either, so <laughs> that's why I said that. So <laughs> hopefully none of you were like, oh, I can't. Um, all right, let's add a dimensional to the back of our bobber. Let's see. I want to do it like that. Um, so you'll want to put it mainly on the bobber because you're going to put that little hook part up onto the circle. And so that's why I had to kind of pivot it. Um, so we'll stick that down. Alicia, you want to go fishing? That's awesome. Uh, that's how you know it works, right? Okay. And then we'll add some seal to the back of this one because I'm just going to lay it on top of this one. So it'll be covered. Okay. And then we'll finish off with some rustic metallic dots. So grab a big one and we'll set that right there. And then we'll take a little one and put it to the left. And that is card number four. So here's one thing I wanted to show you too. So this one, you know, these bait, I just put them up on one dimensional. 
so it's flat with my sentiment. Well, on this one, I actually double dimensionaled it so you can see it actually sits higher than my sentiment. So you just kind of take a look and do whatever you prefer. Okay. Oh, you like to go fishing. That is cool. Um, when I was little, here, let me show you this one and what's in it. Then I'll tell you a story. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, all right. Here's the last card. You can see this is that piece we cut out earlier. So you're going to use it on this card. If you were part of the annual catalog party, this card might look familiar. Um, you got a little sneak peek of it last week. So, um, uh, no, Laura, the monthly club this month is using cheerful daisies. So yeah, I'm not using this one for a club create. So, all right. So there's this card. Let's take a look at this card kit, card base, card kit. We've got pebbled path. Oh, I did. I did my stamping beforehand on this one. Uh, we've got pebbled path. We've got some vellum. We've got some, you'll have a mossy meadow piece. This will be die cut with the stylish shapes dies and then embossed with the twisted rope 3D embossing folder. You'll have a strip of pebbled path. Now on this, I did heat emboss and I already did it, uh, but you'll heat emboss the congrats sentiment in white embossing powder. Okay, then you will have a little piece. I'll include this in your kit, a little piece of the pebbled path jute trim. Okay, you're going to have a piece of the, or this is the leftover piece of designer series paper. And then you're going to cut this piece of designer series paper. There's the other side. So this fun little pebbled path striped piece, okay? All right, since we don't have any stamping to do, we'll just start assembling because um, I already did that. So uh, hopefully you know how to heat emboss. If you don't, I know I have done lots of videos on it before. So we'll just have to find one for you there, okay? Hey, Kathleen, welcome. All right, so story, when I was little, we used to go to a resort every summer for vacation and we would go with um, like some of my dad's close friends and then their families. And Gino uh, used to, Gino was one of the, the dads or whatever. He and I would always go out, I was the youngest kid, and uh, we would always go out one morning on the boat and go fishing, which I liked fishing, I don't touch fish. Yuck. <laughs> uh, but I liked to go fishing with Gino. So I would go and we would have fun. And every morning or every year when we would do this on our one morning, uh, we would eat famous Amos chocolate chip cookies for breakfast. And it was awesome. We'd go out at like 5 a.m. And that was always my favorite memory. Like I didn't care about going fishing. I cared about eating the famous Amos cookies for breakfast. That was the highlight of it for me. So, <laughs> all right. You can see I added some dimensionals to the back of my designer series paper circle. We'll peel off all of these backings and then we're going to go ahead and adhere this onto the vellum. Now I am adhering onto the vellum first because as you may be aware, um, vellum is see-through, right? And so we don't want to see our um, adhesive where it's not going to be covered, okay? So I'm going to add a dimensional right here. I'll show you what I mean in a little bit too. And then we're going to just pick a side here, add some seal and tack that down right there, okay? And then I'm going to add a little bit of seal right there, just on that fish. <laughs> Depending on your designer series paper, it might not be quite right there, but you just do your best. And I'm just gonna tack part of that jute trim down onto there. And then we're gonna use some dimensionals and stick up our sentiment. Maybe before we do that, now we'll do it first. Why not? We're already committed. <laughs> uh, I am going to add, let's see, we're going to do a dimensional right there. So right on top. And then I'm going to grab another one and I want a smaller one. So we'll do this guy. And I'm going to keep it in line, but go inside my jute trim here. Peel that backing off. And then this way we can stick our sentiment down. And I was just making sure that the sentiment would cover. So you can see here on my sample card, I left this a lot longer. So you just kind of trim it however you want it to be, okay? All right, now where we can see that we've got our pieces, we can add some seal or liquid glue if you like liquid glue. And then we'll go ahead and add this down onto our card. Okay, and I'm just gonna flip it over to press just to make it a little easier there. So we've got that added and now we're gonna finish off with some rustic pearls. And you guys know my rules, we're on the last card. We have four left. We would use three of them, but because we only have four left, we're using all four. <laughs> so I'm going to add one there, one there, one will go up there, and let's add another one mm, over there. 
Yeah, that looks good to me. I know I totally probably broke some rules there because I just used four, but I needed to use that last one. <laughs> so that's card number five. Uh, thanks, everyone. Okay, so let me see if I can fit all the cards in here in our screen and show them off here. I'll do my best. Might get a little scrunched, but we'll do our, we'll try. So these are the cards you can make with the Gone Fishing class to go um, through next week. So, um, oh, that's awesome. That's awesome, Deborah. I'm glad that your son would like this. Isn't it cool when you see like a bundle or a stamp set and you're like, oh, I have the perfect recipient in mind. That just always like makes my heart happy. Um, so yeah, so these are the cards that you can make with the Gone Fishing class to go. So don't forget by next Friday, May 26th, make sure to place an order in my online store for $60 before tax and shipping. And you will get the supplies to make all 10 of these cards to two each of the five different designs. You'll get a quarter pack of the designer series paper and then also a full pack of the rustic metallic dots. Okay. Um, oh, thanks Jennifer. Um, yeah, so that is all she wrote. <laughs> um, once again, I am going to, I will actually have an out of office email on my email. So if you do email me, you will get an automatic response. So please know that that's not me responding. It's just an automatic response letting you know that I'm not checking email. Um, I do have some blog posts. So um, these two have already gone up. These two cards have already gone up. This one will go up tomorrow, this one on Thursday, and this one on Friday. Those are already scheduled to go out on my blog and social media. So you'll see those um, as well. So you can interact with those, see those, uh, the pictures and everything. So yeah, if you have any questions, please reach out to me uh, like tonight. <laughs> and otherwise, I will not be live next week because I'll be in Norway. Actually, I'll probably be sleeping right now. Um, otherwise, I'll see you in two weeks. Okay, thanks everyone for the well wishes and I'll see you then. Bye for now.